Hey guys, um, I'm just sat on top of the pit today. I'm having a little mooch about. Um, it's a beautiful day, it's blue sky, green seas, and it's beautiful today. Um, it doesn't feel like an awesome day at all, but it is. And the turn of a new season. So my ambition today, and the things on my list, is to gather some herbal teas while the going is good. So I'm gathering yarrow, um, or millifolium, millifolium. If you have a look at the, the leaves there, they look like feathers. And um, excellent for women's problems and make a really nice herbal tea. So I'll be gathering that today and I'll be sticking that in my pouch. Um, the other thing I've got planned for today is um, I want to be gathering some natural tinders today. So I'm going to be going down to my uh, local rose bay patch, be gathering the seeds of that and some thistle heads and some teasel heads and things like that. Tilly stop eating the grass um, and have a little poodle around. Um, I'm sorry the video is a little bit pants and it's in my hand again because I basically just annihilated my tripod and I broke it and it's now in like two pieces. I think I was a bit rough. So I've broken my tripod, so I was gonna try and film a tidy one, but it's just gonna be me winging it again. Um, sorry. Oh, the other thing, of course, that's out at the moment, just glancing down, is pink clover, full of estrogen. And according to um, the uh, ancient Materia Medica and the principle of like for like, which scientists don't hold dear anymore. Um, this is also used for um, estrogen problems, hormonal problems and things like that because apparently it looks like an ovary. Well, I can kind of see that, you know, it's got its pluses and it's ovary-ish. So I'll be gathering some um, clover and some yarrow. I might get some wild strawberry leaf as well. And there's plenty of evening primrose oil uh, plant around. So I make an oil out of that. Um, but yeah, so my main objectives for today are basically to gather some natural tinders and have a munch on some blackberries as we go. The rose hips are out, the elderberries are out, the hazelnuts are out, the conkers are out. Um, you don't eat conkers by the way. <laughs> <laughs> um, but you can use conkers, they have got a purpose, as I think all plants have. Um, conkers are um, an astringent, they are a vasoconstrictor, uh, so you can apply them topically to varicose veins, making a pulp and a paste out of it, obviously do your patch tests and such forth. And um, of course you can make a fantastic um, washnut liquid out of them if you really needed to because they're full of saponins and stuff like that so chop up the conkers shake them in a bottle of water and you've got a liquid to wash your clothes with a few drops of essential oils bobs your auntie or uncle whatever be gender neutral so um yeah that's what i'm going to be doing today um it's just so lovely a big huge lancaster bomber flew over because i think the guys are training up in bracken again so um very very often we'll see you know a jet or a bomber just come pootling past so apologies if you do hear that today um so i'm just gonna shoot off now i might see if i can get some oak galls as well because i want to have a go at making um oak gall ink to draw with i experimented last year and i made um a shaggy ink cap ink and i did some drawings out of that using a quill so that was quite fun so i'm gonna see if i can extract the ink from oak galls if i can if i can find any around and about so anyway hope you get out there have a good day guys see you soon bye for now